Welcome back. It's the best time of the year. It's a cube time every day. Bane Slayer Angel. Bitter Blossom is probably where we want to be, right? I don't know. I like Bitter Blossom in the modern cube. It's a nice, it's a nice solid. Oh, mean Walker, what's going on? It's Katie. Signet over Bitter Blossom? You need to go back to your meatball parms with, with Pepper Jack and Mayo, buddy. Just get your meatball mayos out of here, okay? I'm going to take Bitter Blossom, I think. All right. Ugh. I feel like there's a lot of cards that go with this, right? Like, there's a lot of things that you can do with the Bitter Blossom. You can you can Yawgmoth. You can equip equipment to them, swords. You can equip the old swords. BB Oblitz. Was Lightning Bolt a regular Lightning Bolt in that pack? I didn't even see it. Ral Zal. Rally Zally. That stands out to me. Progenitor Mimic stands out to me. Huh. Do I just want to be Grixis with Rally Zally? Thank you. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. You are appreciated. It's resub. Happy resub day. I'm going to take this Ral Zarek, I think. Planeswalkers that go, go to six immediately that always draw you a card. Danny, we're not mono blacking. God, why are you like this? Mono black has been pretty good every time we took it, though. I mean, I'm such a big, I'm a bigger Phyrexian Arena fan than Underworld Connections fan. I just don't like tying up my mana every turn. The corn is growing tall today. Badger, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? You guys want to... Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, Liliana? Oh, that's spicy. I'm going to take this Liliana. I played turn two Bitter Blossom earlier and then got a phone call and died. Turns out the idle timeout is five minutes now, not ten. Huh. Interesting. Liliana it is. I hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing for you. I hope you guys never say I didn't give you anything. I gave you the gift of mono black. Now is it Mas Mask Worm or Mind Shatter? Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Oh god, this is so unsatisfying. Oh god, it didn't come out. Oh my god, it's the absolute worst. Jeez. I'm actually asking you guys because I really don't know. Mine Shatter is very, very good. Oh, Sword, but also Ravenous Choops. Oh, God, the half sneeze. Like, it's absolutely disgusting. I just want to, like... I don't want to... I just want to go to sleep now. Oh, God, I'm so miserable. Oh, my God, why? I think it's actually Choops. You're going to say Sword? We do have... Bitter Blossom. All right, I'm gonna take the sword. You know what? You guys are calling it here. I'm just—it's your world. I'm just living in it. Probably just cubing today. I don't know. It's gonna take me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been in a standard mood, Badger. I'm sorry, buddy. I will definitely play your deck. Don't get me wrong. I think it's actually treasure map. This is what you get for hating on my meat, my signet and meatball parm. Hey, buddy, I didn't even want your stupid signet. You can take your signet and stick it in your meatball parm, okay? Is it still a meatball parm if you're putting pepper jack on it? Yes, I think so. You never give me... Wow, that's not true at all. Nightfell Spectre is great for this deck, but so is Erebos. So you can take that signet and stick it up your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is a parm? <laughs> Typical Australian, am I right? Oh, I like an Emmet Eternal. Alright, this guy's playable. Is it some American thing? No, it would be an Italian thing. I feel like I need a massage. I feel like I'm really stressed out. The roads are the bustiest. <sighs> Do 
You're lying. Try to confuse me. Badger, you sound like a crazy person right now. You're lying. You're trying to trick me. The roads are the dustiest. Oh, Obliterator comes back, boys! Oh, yes. I would love a murderous cut, but boy, we ain't, we ain't passing no Blitz. Underworld Connections comes back, too? Hooey! All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, shit. Bear Man Man just stole Badger's eyeballs. This Shut chat's up, getting crazy. Mind. One anti-stress buck. Danny, appreciate it, buddy. That'll do. That'll get her there. Liliana's a mastery. Oh my god, the massacre worm came back. The chupacabra came back? Oh, shit! <laughs> There's no excuse for that. We're the only black drafter in this... <laughs> Sometimes the signals are just there, man. Wow, that's insane. Night Vale Spectre! <laughs> shit. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's just phenomenal, guys. Wow, dude. Night Vale Spectre last pick. I think I just like Staff of Nin here. I like the good sources of card advantage in black decks like Treasure Map. Underworld Connections is kind of mad, I'll be honest with you guys. I want that Grey Merchant though. I also do like Glint Sleeve Siphoner, but I, I'm going to be honest with you, I bet this comes back, whereas Staff of Nin Shut might up, not. Take my money. So I'm going to take Staff. And one buck for Badger's Eye Surgery. Wow, is it only going to cost a dollar? That's a good deal. You guys have to have a... Badger has to have a pretty good doctor to go to the, uh, the $1 eye surgery place district. I think we're taking Crux of Fate. Chanel, thank you so much for the reset. Is Gary in this cube? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We're hoping no one takes him. Uh, Shriekmaw's good. Kalidus is good. Thoughtseize is good. I think it might just be Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is just very, very strong. And, uh, you know, these will probably come back, let's be honest. I don't hate Smuggler's Copter, but I also don't love it. It does give us a thing for Bitter Blossom, though. Liliana's kind of less impressive. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one going to H2O and come back kid tonight, Buck. I don't even know who that is. Kyle, I don't even know who that is, buddy. Yeah, I think it's just Copter. I think it's probably just better than Liliana. Giralf's Messenger. Is that better than Hero's Downfall? No, Hero's Downfall is definitely better. Josh, what's going on, buddy? I'm going to take the Hero's Downfall. We don't have Gary yet, so I'm not really super high on Messenger. I would like to deal with Planeswalkers somehow. Like, I'm just assuming that all of these black cards are coming back. Two Frank made me internet famous bucks. Dude, people apparently really enjoyed the deck, so that was, that, that was good to see. People are like, I like it when you do things like this, and I'm like, alright, I'll keep that in mind. And, uh, I will do more of them in the future. The atoms are the dustiest. That's the least way back, way back home. Do -do 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 -do. Was watching some Borderlands 3 streams right now in Torn Between buying that and Greedfall. What's Greedfall? I don't even think Shut I've heard of Greedfall. Oh, okay. One, one buck stream buck. What is that? What's that even mean? Gonti is phenomenal. I like Karn a lot, but I think Gonti's just where we want to be. Yeah, that's an 8th pick Gristle Dad. Or a 7th pick Gristle Dad, I guess. 
I mean, we're just taking Gristle Dad. I kind of wish Crypt Ghast was in the queue where you could double your black mana. And then it's just really, you can get the really sweet mono black decks where you're like, double all my swamp mana. Double my swamp mana. You know, because that's what you want to do. Is a Bioware style RPG. Is Greedfall the one that's in space by the same team? No, it's Bioware. You said Bioware. I'm thinking of Obsidian. Obsidian. What's the Obsidian game that's coming out that looks fantastic? What card are you most looking forward to playing in the new set? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't keep track of spoilers as well as I used to. And I think the reason... Outer Worlds. Thank you, Badger. Yeah, that game looks fantastic so far. Um, oh, we did it! Oh, we're living the goddamn dream. That's amazing. Guys. Guys. We did it. Oh, look. The Glintsleaf Siphoner came back. Or do I want Ultimate Prize? I think we want Glintsleaf Siphoner. We want more creatures at two. Oh, Registar. I want to take Spellskite. Oh, look. Kalidus came back. A play, a complete, oh, look. Liliana came back. Oh, no Giraffe's Messenger? Wow. Wow. Strange. What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, I don't pay attention to spoilers as much as I used to. And I think the reason is because me and Rob tend to do a set review. Um, and I really like being able to just discover the cards as I do the set review. So you guys get, like, the most honest opinion of them, right? Like, I don't I don't have to, like, look at a card and then I can formulate an opinion on it and then I can talk about it on the stream. Uh, you know, I just, I have the opinion already. Or I don't have the opinion already is really what I'm... Wow. This is... How... Can I stop opening Jace the Mind Sculptor when I'm not in blue? I'm gonna take it anyway. I don't even care. We already have 25 cards and we're going into pack 3 and I haven't even like... None of these are even that cuttable. I would just play all these. Holy Jesus. I'm just taking this. No one can have it. I don't even care. Shit. <laughs> Come on. Jason to Sphinx? Come on. Shut up and take my money. Come on. One point one 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 and a bit Gary bugs. <laughs> oh, the old one ninety three eleven, a solid uh Wow. I want the Eldest Reborn. But, like, maybe I just take this and play it. We don't. We take Eldest Reborn, right? Oh, God. Feels bad. Feels so bad, but... I mean, we're gonna play this 100%. Hate on Sphinx. I could've. I could've done it. I was real close. I think it's Inquisition. I don't really care about Midnight Reaper, to be honest with you. I like Inquisition. Lifebane Zombie I like. Whip of Erebos I like. <sighs> Whip Might Wheel. I'll take the Lifebane Zombie. Is that better than anything we have here? I don't know. I don't know if I'm playing Underworld Connections. Go for the Throat. Nice. Go for the Throat is very, very good. And we wanted a two-mana removal spell, so... I'm okay with it. <sighs> hostage taker. We could have a sweet blue black deck. We got Jace, Hostage Taker, and we could have Consecrated Sphinx. That's like the uh, the trifecta. I'm never impressed with this Liliana. I hate to say it. It's just Pack Rat. I don't think it's Doom Blade. I don't think it's Nighthawk. I think it's just Pack Rat. Grave Titan? Shut up and take my money. 1.21 gigabucks. 1.21 gigabucks. Not really. That's a lot of bucks. That would be a lot of bucks, yes. I wish we I wish we valued money in 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 giga rather than He's a he dude, he's he's worth 1.21 gigabucks, man. I'm probably going to take Masquerum out for now. Oh wow, Thran. Yogmoth rather. I always call him Thran. I don't know why. Yogmoth, Yogi. Yogs. Also, Yogs with uh, with Bitter Blossom seems good. I 
Oh, look, every black card in this pack came back. Also, the Dark Slick Shores, so we could literally just play the Jace. I guess it's... I like Finale. I think Finale's... Uh, maybe I want Hypnotic Spectre, actually. Nykthos came back. Okay, that's nice. Whip did come back. Okay, so this is just an embarrassment of riches. Jesus, this is ridiculous. Crypt Baker, sure. Crypt Breaker also goes with all of our zombies that we have. Is Emmet Eternal a zombie? It is, isn't it? Wow, it's a zombie crocodile demon. This is unbelievable. gotta run 60 this is insane like <laughs> like this is 36 cards right like and we still have like these that are all playable and like this one random jace the mind sculptor Game Trader, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, God. Zombie cheers for mana luck. God. I mean, I think our mana's gonna be good. Make a modern deck from these cards, then I run a league with them. <laughs> uh, we're just playing our, uh, our... Look, we can even play this one Inquisition, but now we have to cut a card. <laughs> this is comical, dude. Oh, jeez. God, this is so many good cards. It's unbelievable. Also, like, let's look at the zombies alone, right? Zombie, zombie. This guy makes zombies. Um, You're not a zombie, surprisingly. Amid Eternal's a zombie. Midnight Reaper's a zombie. Lifebane zombie. Maybe a zombie. Liliana's not a zombie, although you kind of think she is sometimes. Uh, I guess that's it. That's actually not a ton of zombies, so I don't feel that much worse about it okay so wait night veil specter no we're definitely keeping night veil specter hypnotic specter hypnotic specter is also good especially because we have thought season mind shatter so i feel like we kind of have like a, a sub plan of getting rid of the cards in their hand i'm gonna get rid of doomfall i think this is good but we can board it in along with inquisition if we really want to like stress their hand a little bit um i think all of our two drops are actually pretty good uh i don't like this liliana that much oh vampire nighthawk same underworld connections same whip of erebos same gray merchant stays grave titan can go massacre can be a sideboard card i love night veil specter is amazing not only because it just gets free cards for you but also because of gray merchant so I think Mind Shatter is also very, very good. I'm going to get rid of this guy, Crypt Breaker. This and this. This gives us 25 cards. We still need two cuts. We can probably cut one of these four drops. Herbos seems really good here. Oi! I don't actually love Smuggler's Copter, to be honest with you. I don't... It's just... It's a good card, but I'm just never... I'm never super excited about it. I'm not sure reanimation should be in this queue. I could be wrong. The thing is, there's not that much reanimation, right? There's, like, Unbarrel Rights, Whip of Erebos, and, like... Makeshift Mannequin, maybe? Oh, Gristlebrand being 8 mana doesn't matter at all when we have Treasure Map and Nykthos. That doesn't make a difference at all. I think this is actually... I think this is it. I wish we had one Signet, but... I could see cutting one of these four drops. I just don't know which. Maybe it might actually be Kalidus, even though I don't feel great about it. 
Oh man, casting Grey Merchant, it's just the best feeling ever. Well, close to the best feeling ever. I don't want to cut a two drop. We got a million four drops. I could see cutting Kalidas. We also have... Yeah, this is fine. I, I think this looks good. Play this guy. <laughs> and we'll play 16 and one Nick this. This deck seems insane, dude. I was thinking 41. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. And our sideboard is bonkers, dude. I have to, yeah, I have to cut Kalidus because it's my worst part. Of it. And to be fair, Erebos could be worse than Kalidus. I just think Erebos is cool. And if I'm playing, yes. If I'm playing uh, some amount of devotion, I might as well keep the Erebos in. Yeah, we got the old treasure map. Nick, the treasure map just flipping into into three tokens is nice. The roads are the dust. Oh god, it's a, it's a mirror match. Oh, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Oh yes. Bring it. Sometimes you get decks like this, and you're just like, I don't understand. It seems like it's the perfect deck. Maybe you go one two with it because sometimes. I, so situations like this where you have this many black cards I wonder if it comes down to building more I feel like I just if we end up losing it's because I just misbuilt the deck you know what I mean it's your dad does anyone know if Gristle, Gristlebrand is actually a dad do we even know if he has gristle babies? Like, I'll be honest, I'm tempted to kill this Crypt Breaker instead of playing Treasure Map, but I really also just want to hit a land here, so. So if they go make a guy this turn, they can't make a guy next, they could play a guy, another zombie next turn and have three zombies and start drawing cards. And that's kind of obnoxious. I think we can I think we can wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to Crypt Breaker. I think it's just too good. I think Monoret is the most consistent deck in a cube. I think I, I agree with you. I don't think that's weird either. I think that's actually that makes sense because like everyone has to deal with you if you're playing mono red. Another thing that uh, encouraged our decision to go for the Thothite guy is the fact that we should be able to draw a card off of this Glint Sleeve Siphoner, so. Well. What's it going to be? Oh god, which of these heavy black influenced cards is it going to be, my friend? Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Phyrexian Oblitz. Celestia Signet, fascinating. Yes. Staff of Nin. Another land. Okay. Let's get busy mapping. The roads are the dustiest. Hmm. 
Mono red always sets the boundaries for the cube. It keeps deck building on light. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's true. Wow. Wow. One, two, three. Oh my god, we can't actually... <sighs> that's really unfortunate, because against this deck, it's probably fantastic. <clears throat> I mean, we're definitely bringing in Massacre Room. <laughs> this seems like the Massacre Room matchup. I don't think we need it. I don't think it does what we want it to right now. The problem is we want to hit land drops. We have two six drops in hand. We want to be able to flip this and hit land drops. Maybe playing Sword and then like flipping this on the next turn... And then equipping sword, attacking. It's gonna be a four drop, you ready? If it's a four drop, we're just bottoming it because we want the land. <sighs> Maybe we don't want it. Like, this flips into three things. Maybe we should just kept the sword. I don't know, man. That was a fantastic draw. Two three flyer when they have a hypnotic specter against a black deck seems just bonkers. Not like Doomblade's a thing, but Shriek Maw's a thing. Well, if we kept the sword, we would have played it that turn. Actually, how much mana is this? Four? So one, two, four. So we can actually just do this jobby. We're so close to casting Gristlebrand. Um, do we care about this guy? So we can make four mana. So we can just play this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Shriek Maw is not black, that's why I said that. Okay, I like that because now they can't just equip the the fairy and attack and batter skull is a piece of work it's just a mirror match right that's really annoying wow that's obnoxious <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana. I guess we just, gr I mean, do we just gristle brand here? Probably. And then they equip sword to, they equip batter skull to this guy. And then they have a, what, a 10 9? Jesus. With vigilance. Yeah, Massacre Room was an amazing top deck there, unless it was in your hand. I mean, alternatively, they quit Batter Sculpt to bear it to the fairy, and then they just kill us that way. So I think it's actually... We can't can't play this. We have to play a flyer. I guess we can play this and just block. So 
So it could be Aetherborn, and then either we can play Gaunty, or we can play Gristlebrand. Actually, that... I'm afraid of this, right? So I think we just play Gristlebrand, hope they don't hit anything. Or we could just play Staff of Nin. Staff of Nin kills this guy. We can block here or here. The problem is they can attack with just everything and kill us. I think we just have to get Gristlebrand down. I'm not too worried about the the tokens here because we have a lot of mana. All right, this is this is the play. So we can actually attack here, right? Because like we can block here, block here, and that's a lot of life. And if they want to block, that's fine, because then they can't equip the fairy. Yeah, this is fine. Keeps them off the fairy for now. And if they want to equip here, then we can just Aetherborn it. I mean, as long as they don't draw a removal spell this turn, like, we have something going on, at least. And now we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana from Nykthos. Okay. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. 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 Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see if we can just kill them. Ten, eleven mana. So, Gaunty. Are we just winning? Um, let's take Frasca's Contempt, just in case. I think this is Exaxes. <laughs> oh! No, if we attack with Gristlebrand, they gain four and they don't die. That doesn't do anything. That actually prevents us from winning. Because they would just block here and then gain five life. Wow. Gray Merchant, Gray Merchant. Gary, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> what a stupid magic card, man. Come on, dude. Yep, bringing in Massacre Worm. Alright, that was... That was something. Jesus. You beautiful bastard. Fuck it out, 13 exactly. Oh, I'm just gonna kill you. That's a pretty decent comment. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's only a 13 point life swing. So, as you can imagine, Life Bane Zombie, not great. All right, let's see what we got here that's not great against black decks. Uh, not, nothing yet. This is good. Okay, everything actually seems good. Um, oh, that's true. We also gained 13 life. That's, that's a good point, I guess. You know, <laughs> worth noting. I do like Vampire Nighthawk here. What are we cutting, though? Cut the mind shatter, and we can just play 41. Thank you. Staff seems good, though, because they have bitter blossom. So if they don't have. I like Erebos because they do a batter skull. Um, Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Somebody my apologies I'll forgive you this time Badger let's be careful not to let it happen again though buddy you're on thin ice real thin ice no just kidding that's ridiculous that's ridiculous. 
Cutting the black seems like a decent strategy. I don't know why we wouldn't. Uh... I just got a message on Facebook. Someone's like, "Hey, is this still available?" I'm selling. Uh, I'm selling some memory on Facebook, and I'm like, "Yeah," and they're like, "Trades welcome," and I'm like, "No, I just want cash, man. I'm selling this. I'm not trading." Like, I don't know what. I don't know what I what. It, the, the odds of someone like being able to trade you something that you're looking for it's just so weird to me I'm like what are the odds are he's like I got I mean like he didn't say this but he's like I got a carburetor I got a used laundry a used washing machine and I got uh, a nickel from the 1910s and I'd be like what am I gonna do with any of that like it's just so weird like the odds of someone trading you something that you actually need for this thing that you're selling I'm just like I don't understand. I, it's it's such a random like like unless it's just like a bartering school of thought that I just don't subscribe to. I just don't like I don't get it. So I'm just like I'll trade you Mike for my wife. Oh my god, very nice. Oh really? You're gonna come this late? I don't wanna play Liliana because then we'll just target this and then they'll kill Liliana in response. And that just makes me sad. <laughs> it's trades welcome. I'm like, if you're trading me dollar bills, I accept those trades. Yes, those are solid trades. Well, that's sad. Are they missing a land drop? Oh, looks like it. Are we just going to cross? Oh, man. That's brutal. Brutal madoodle. That's not a thing. Why would you say that? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Weird thing to say. Get in there. I mean, depending on if they need a couch and you want a pinball machine, that actually seems like a fine trade. Well, this game's not going... Oh, God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Well, they got their third land, so now they can actually interact in some in some fashion. Yep, see, there you go. I knew it wouldn't last. I knew it was too good to be true. Let's draw a card. Big Chuparino. I guess we can... I mean, I'm pretty sure we're safe to kill this. And the reason being, um, like, this adds to our... This lets us play Crystal Brand. You can see how easy it is to cast Crystal Brand in this deck. Like, even if without the Nykthos, we still have seven mana right now. Ugh, that was a rough match for him. All right, well, our deck is... Let's be real, it's unbeatable. I don't want to... I don't want to brag, but... I'm going to brag about our unbeatability. <sighs> yeah, cha 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 You're so not racist, raciest even. Danny, I think you are literally drunk right now, buddy. I'll keep this hand.
Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Mike is raddest. That's mostly because it's Oron Rat Dead, though. Oh, baby. That's a... Uh, that's a big man. We actually do have another Mike fanfiction. I keep forgetting to read it. Another black deck, huh? Okay, so they're going to play something. We're going to kill it. They're going to play Hero of Blade Hold. We're going to kill it. Then we're going to play, like, Gonti. Or Phyrexian Obliterator. Um, we can Obliterator or we can Gonti. I think we'll Gonti first because we get the free card. Obliterator is great, but I'd rather play an Obliterator when we have, uh, when we've like baited some removal out of. The oh wow, Anguished on Making here seems great. I don't want to get Lingering Souls because then it just goes to their graveyard. Their deck seems sweet so far. My flat Earth friend told me all Australians are just actors anyway. Jesus, please don't be real. Please don't really have a flat earth friend. I was actually hoping for a land so we could Eldest Reborn, but they haven't played a creature yet, so... You know. Big Oblitz. And now they're going to be like, Wrath of God or Fumigate. Crux of Fate. Okay, well, that was close. Four cards to four cards. I have an extra card. My hand has to be better, right? What happens now? Elspeth. Wow, that's annoying. Well, I'm glad we have this anguish on making. Goonie Love, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, this is my vampire Nighthawk. We're getting real close. Get him. Get him. Frank Internet. <laughs> That's what my mom always calls me. Oh, it's a Tide Hollow Sculler. Well, that's obnoxious. I guess you'll take Gristlebrand because the other two cards are not that threatening against you. Must be dice, you see. Well, that's actually pretty solid. That is a pretty solid draw. So we can go block, block, kill one of these guys, and then we're going to have a Gaunti.
Can I just leave those on there? <laughs> can I can I not take any? That seems terrible. The M20 Venter is this regular standard? What are, you, what are you saying right now? None of these things even make any sense. One, two, three. Uh, sacrifice a creature, put a negative one counter. Choose up to one target creature. This one. Sacrifice this one. Oh, we got a gristle brown back. Look at that. Wait, didn't they already cast that? Was that the last game? Oh, we're just getting thought seized every Shut game now. Take my money. That's rough. I guess we have Liliana though. Four planes, four pain bugs. That's only one. Oh, it is four bucks. Wow, Danny, you are awesome, buddy. Thank you, my dude. Um, yeah, kill this guy. Wow, now our Eldest Reborn is gas. Terminus, Settle the Wreckage, and Silk Wrap. Huh. Guess we'll get rid of Terminus here. Silk Wrap is a blank. Oh, we can actually sack a dude to pro We can actually proliferate? I guess we're not discarding a card to proliferate, though. Maybe we are. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do? Man, we could have left all four of those cards. So Silk Wrap and Settle, like we can just draw... Oh, they played a land? I mean, do we just like wait a turn and then get Gristlebrand back? The problem is we can't cast Gristlebrand this turn if we discard a card. Um, I would rather discard the Swamp. We're also at 11. I'm just going to... I'm going to plus here. I don't think there's any pressure. And I think keeping Liliana on board is really where we want to be. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I don't I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to trade that, though. Yeah, we're just... We're just doing well. All right, so we'll probably board in Jace here. Just kidding. Man, I wish this was uh, a green or white creature or a planeswalker. That would be such gas. I kind of like Doomfall, though, because they do have Elspeth, and I really like don't want to deal with Elspeth. We also have Spice Sorceress Spyglass, but I feel like they had less cards that were activated abilities. Masquerum also seems great with the Elspeth. Take out the Mind Shatter again. I mean, we could just let them go ham with Elspeth and be like, hey. Hey, Mike just left work. Material. I think this is actually pretty good. I don't mind going to 41. 
I'm off to bed. Wish Mike Mike a happy birthday. Chicken Sunday for me. Good night. Ch Danny, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support, as always. Who I Thank you so much for the reset. Good luck in Cube today. Thanks for being amazing and bringing the positive vibes, as always. I do what I can. Someone commented on a video recently, and uh, not a negative thing. Like, let's, this is, um, I'm going to see if I can find it, because it was a good comment. Like, it was, it was good to know. And I want to, I want to reference it here. And I want to find it. So give me one second. I'm going to look for it. And then you guys can, we can, we can talk about it. Let's go to videos. All right. Definitely keeping this hand. This hand is great. It was not, it was not about typing during the videos. Well, the hand is worse now. We still have two, three drops. So they're probably going to get rid of Liliana here. But that's fine. Okay, they said, yep, and they did exactly what we thought they'd do. Sorry for the downvote, Frank. I just watched previous two Modern Cube videos, which I enjoyed, but things started getting a bit woe is me at the 39 minute mark. I believe you're genuinely connecting, you're, I believe you're generally connecting with your Twitch audience when you say, I don't, I don't really understand why you're not seeing any growth in your subs. For me on a YouTube video in an uninteractive format, it just comes off, I'm trying to find the right word, entitled, whiny. It was that combination with the noticeable mood drop soon after the opponent's lucky Teferi in a journey into nowhere that made me go, I'm not enjoying this anymore. Hope this comes as constructive. I am, despite the downvote, a fan of unusual size. And I was like, that is, that's good, that's good criticism. I, I appreciate you saying that. You know what I mean? Like, that is helpful. Even though I even though I don't love hearing it, it's good to know, right? That's how constructive criticism works, right? It's not good news, but it's helpful news. But my response is this, right? Let me I'm like, thanks a ton for the feedback. And this is totally constructive. I want to address something, though. And this is what I said. Uh, maybe you'll see it from my perspective for a second. The uploads you see on YouTube are every event I play in, right? If I do 36 Modern Horizons drafts, there's going to be 36 Modern Horizons videos. This means that I don't have the luxury of making, like... I'm not, like, making one video a week when I'm in a great mood. And then, like, editing that video until it's perfect. If I get upset, I can edit that part out. If I get angry, I can edit that part out. I don't have that luxury, right? And, like... The truth is, sometimes you're going to catch me getting frustrated when it's the third draft of the day, or I'm on a losing streak, or when I'm getting hungry, or tired, or I'm in a, my head hurts, maybe. And I'm still going to upload those videos, right? So, like, it's like, you're going to see all of that, you know? So, and due to the quantity of uploads, sometimes that means you're going to get Salty Frank, or a Frank that's just having a bad day. And that's just kind of how it goes. A lot of people say that they appreciate my realness, right? Like, and those of you that don't, like, if you guys are like, man, I wish he wouldn't get so salty or whatever, I'd be like, okay, cool, that makes me, that, that makes sense, you know, it's whatever, that's fine, I understand. But a lot of people are like, I like that you're real, I like that you show emotion. And, you know, for those that don't appreciate that, like, I just hope you can shrug it off and take it as part of, like, the human experience and just acknowledge that this isn't a large part of my character or my content. And that sometimes you just have rough days, you know, like, that's literally what it comes down to. You guys are seeing all of it, you know, like, you're seeing all of the, the, the transitions and moods from one event to the next because all of the events that I play in are going up here. Like I'm not only posting the, the events that I won and I did really well in, or like, I'm not only posting when I have winning streaks, like you see, you see all of it. So like, I mean, I do appreciate the feedback. Like definitely, definitely let me know what I can do better or what, what like you guys would appreciate more. But like, it's definitely a situation where like, I can't hide when I have a bad day. Cause I'm still going to have to work. I'm still going to have to put videos up. I'm still going to have to stream and like, I still want to, you know what I mean? But, like, sometimes it is a little harder than others. Like, that's just mental health, you know? Wow, they just profane command to deal us two and kill the Hypnotic Spectre? And they have two cards in hand? Can we draw land, I guess? Oh, God, that's so good. Oh, it's so good. Did you just play Obliterator or the other one? Somebody commented on you typing while streaming. Yeah, someone's like, the typing is really obnoxious. And I was like, my bad. I try to be really positive. I really do. I definitely... Oh, Worm Coil or Elspeth. Whew. That's a... That's something. I don't know what to pick here. I'm gonna... Hmm. Oh, jeez. Worm, Elspeth, Coil. So, okay. Worm, Coil, Worm, Coil. God, Elspeth is such a game breaker, though. They have, the thing is, they have Massacre Worm, so I'm going to take Worm, Coil. I don't want to be like, Elspeth plus one. 
Elspeth plus one. Elspeth plus one. I guess I'll take 18. However, we can draw if we can draw Mask Worm, then we're in business. Okay, these lands that we're hitting is uh, are very nice when we have two six drops in hand. The positivity is what you made your streams in the first place. Nice, I appreciate that, man. That's great to hear. That's really great to hear. I feel like I used to be a I used to be a a, a more negative person. I think I'm actually just gonna kill one of these guys. I don't need the Gonti, but I do want to hit a land here for sure, so. That's alright with me. Alright. Why do I have why do I have the song stuck in my head? Why do I have material Madonna's material world stuck in my head? Can someone explain it to me? Do you have human emotions like a human? I do. I do have those. We could actually just attack their face, and then now we can't do it now. It's too late. I used to watch all your CFB stuff, and then I try to watch other CFB creators, and they were usually slow and not engaging. Dude, that's I've no no negativity, no like no not not meaning to insult anyone, but I've noticed that as well. And I don't think that's like it's just the, the that's the problem of like. It's the difference between being an entertainer and being an educator, right? Like, I feel like I'm more on the ed the entertainment side, and they're more on the educational side. And that's fine. But... I th God, Gideon's a real... So Gideon just kills this guy. I don't want to lose too much life. Gifted Aetherborn's good. They have one card in hand. I think we just want to Hero's Downfall this, which makes me feel bad because we could have dealt two more damage, but... I'm mostly just a lurker, but I always try to catch streams when I can. I honestly find your stream really chill and relaxing. It's on. thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is great, guys. Thank you so much for the for the for the commentary. I really appreciate it. Thank you, <laughs> Nick. Thank you so much for the, for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. We all know you're you and your chat aren't real, and you're just ran and are just random hallucinations living in my. He knows too much. Do I just play this guy? And then they kill this guy, and they keep one dude back. We take three, but we got Gifted Aetherborn. We're just going to kill the Gideon. It doesn't feel great, but I'm not going to like not do it because we attack for two. Thank you. No beats. Thank you so much for the Gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. That's all right. Sometimes you just gotta sing Madonna's Material Girl for no real reason. I watch other people kind of fall asleep too. I watch you interact and engage. It's a good, it's an actively good time. Thank you. Oh God, that's great. I just want you guys to have an actively good time. Do we think they're gonna have settle the wreckage here as one of their two, their two, two, their two, two things? Well. I ain't gonna stick around to find out. Cause chat just wants to have fun. Um, so, so to be fair, um, I, I frequently say that the best part of my stream is the chat. So, um, thank you guys for being awesome. Also, if we attack with Worm Coil and Gifted Aetherborn and they try to settle, we can kill two of their spirits. I'm here for all the Rob's mom joke. You and me both, buddy. I'm 
that's all right with me. All right. Also, like, if we do sack these guys, we just get to draw a million cards. I'm just going to attack with Wormcoil, though, because I want to lose all my life linkers. Yeah, here we go. They're doing it. They're doing it. Well, now that that's gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll use Settle the Wreckage's ability. <laughs> oh, I got nothing out of this. Five. Oh, they do. We still have. They still have Terminus. So. I think we actually just pass and take two. You guys are definitely not boring and insane. Okay, so they're definitely terminusing here. And we're going to three. Which I guess is fine. They just have terminus and settle in hand. Okay. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Oh, crux of fate. Sure. It is what it is. I miss the underwear discounts too. Wow. I feel like you guys are just using me for my underwear discounts. Erebos. Wait, did they just draw? We have 10 power on board and they just drew a card? So yikes for me, dog. Okay. Disfigure. Sure. So they go to three instead. Sure. I mean, they do have Terminus. I don't really feel like dealing with the Terminus. So I'm just going to pass here. Because we have more than enough on board. Okay, no terminus. Well, they top decked it. Soren. Nah, that's frustrating. What? Oh! Thank you. Why didn't they just kill Grave Titan? That was greedy. You kill Grave Titan, you go to nine, and I have six power on board, so you get to live another day. But now, put that on top. Dimitri, what's going on? Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Just in case. Uh, go at your face. Go at your face. Go at your face. Go at Soren. You know, just because... Uh, if they want to... They can't kill Grave Titan now? I don't know, man. I don't know what they're going to... They could have... Oh, they're just going to draw a card and kill themselves. Yes, okay. Well, we are 4-0 with this deck, so... Wrists are also a hand next. <laughs> Just fucking stop. <laughs> Just stop it. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Hand necks. <laughs> I can't, man. I just can't. This hand is good if I had lands. Fudge.
Shipping the gr the Gristle brand when we have Nykthos and Phyrexian Obliterator in our hand feels not great, but... God, I'm losing it to friggin' hand necks. You are all getting weird. See, the thing is, like, I think that's their default mode. Oh, great. They're just going to counter our Liliana. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe they don't have it. They always friggin' have it. We're gonna play some mono blue deck in the finals, and they always have it. Never don't have it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Man, it's been a while since we used the lucky, huh? Now watch, we're not gonna be able to draw land for our Phyrexian Obliterator, so... That's gonna be sad. Oh, we did. I guess I, uh... I guess I can shut my mouth now. Oh, we can also play Grave Titan next turn because of the four, five, six mana. That's nice. Are our our hand ankles a sandwich? So I just get to kill Jace Beller in here? Is that what you're saying to me? Okay. Good deal. Let's make six Manus. That's all right with me. All right. Oh, we just win the game. I guess Phyrexian Obliterator and a Grave Titan when all they have is a thing in the ice is, uh, it's pretty good. I want to take the sword out. I don't think it's great here. I'm going to Inquisition can come in for sure. Our hand neck sandwich is hot dogs. <laughs> Oh, crying out loud. Y'all just need y'all just need to stop. Y'all just y'all just need to stop. I wanna bring in Doomfall as well. I might just cut the Erebos here. Is Erebos a sandwich? Oh, we won, my dude. This hand I'm actually fine with because we have Night Vale and Grey Merchant and Nykthos and it's like, we're basically just playing Theros Block Standard up in this piece. Do people still stay in this piece? Tempest Gin. Don't care about you. Search for Escanta is annoying. Remand is fine. You have one land. Yeah, we're just getting rid of the search. I can't deal with the search. Opt is gone. Island is gone. Give me a swamp. That's that's not a swamp at all. Remand is gone. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Badger with the 10 gifted subs. A totally normal thing to do. Let me get Swamp Thank now. You. So I can just kill this dude? I just want to be able to kill it. I want to be able to play Magic. Alright, I guess I don't get to. Thank Badger, you. thank you so much, dude. You are an unbelievable... How many... How many is that? 281 gifted subs. Thank you. What? How is that even real? How are you a real human being? 
Thank you. Seems bad. Seems Batman. This is where they cryptic command Thank and then you. bounce a thing. Snapcaster remand. I'm just gonna. I don't even feel like playing this game out, to be quite honest. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. I mean, we're probably taking seven here going to nine. We might be able to Heroes Downfall this guy, maybe. They have four cards in hand. <laughs> oh, the old Triple Hunter emote. A classic. A classic. Seagate Oracle. Okay. Why do I have this Nelly song stuck in my head now? Did something happen to get this Nelly song stuck in my head? If you wanna go and ride me, look at heaven to make the bend me away. Out here this way. Must be the money. I mean, if they have a counter for this, we're dead, so. Yep, cool. Never don't have that. Never don't have that. Never don't have that. Um deck seems good. I think we just didn't hit it didn't hit any lands there, you know? One day, can you just come on stream and play the movie Face Off so we can watch it together? Dude, I would love to be able to stream movies. But they they actually don't let you. They're like, I'm sorry, this is copywritten. You can't stream this. I would actually freaking love that. We could have like a movie night every week and there could be commentary and stuff. That would be hilarious. Like me, me and my friend Nick and I think Mike and maybe Justin... Tried to do that one one time with like uh like the cheese we found like the cheesiest movie we can find and we're like let's watch this on stream and do commentary and stuff. Wow, Tempest Gin, Time Warp, Three Islands. Okay, so we're three owing this draft, I believe, based on this ridiculous hand. Presuming we can find one land. Okay, we haven't found it yet. We just need one land, guys, and then we can hit all of our. Yeah, famous last words is no joke. Boop, boop. Earthling Cloudscape, you got it. Come on, one time. Oh, yeah! Get it! <laughs> oh, yes! Wait, other streamers do movie things? How can you do that? Can you do it or not? Can you do it? I don't actually know. Back in the day, we could we couldn't do it. I have no idea if they've changed things. Okay, Pack Rat. Pack Rat Arena. They have three cards in hand? Hmm. Give me that time warp. Whirler Rogue! Oh, that's a good one. Mm 
If you wanna go and take a ride with me, oh, I need this away. Make me the money. All right, this guy's coming down next turn. We gotta keep that in mind. The only thing I know they have is time warp here. So, well, and these draws are like. Let's do this in case they got like cryptic command bounce a thing, counter a thing, I don't know. Island, huh? So we know your hand is literal just time warp. I mean, I'm almost tempted to just kill this when it comes down, and then they time warp and they do nothing, right? If they either hit a land and they get time warp, because, like, this actually... The problem with this is it still bounces our Liliana or our Hypnotic Spectre, which is not great, and then we just don't have any board presence. I think we have to play something here. Yeah, I don't like Doomfall when they just have Time Warp because they're not going to do anything with Time Warp. Even if they double hit with, with Riftwing Clouds, get in Liliana, we just she still lives. <clears throat> like they probably just bounce Liliana here, which is fine. Oh, interesting. So they did not hit a land. Fascinating. We did hit a land. Fascinating. If you wanna go and take a ride me. I don't know if we're playing Hypnotic Spectre. Like they could just have a counter spell. Um, but if they have a negate, I don't really want I don't want to walk into like a negate or a remand, to be honest. I think we're just passing here. Jace Brin's Prodigy, huh? Well, I'm probably going to kill that. Yeah, that's fine. Interesting. Well, it's only three mana, but it's still like. Still lets us play Hypnotic Spectre, because I don't think they have Remand, or else they would have Remanded the other dude. And now I feel like we're in good shape, because they have to hit a land. One of their cards is Time Warp that we know about. And I think we're basically home free. That's good. I don't care about it, but it's good. This is where they're like, all right, well, that's a little, that's a scooper. Scooperuski. Scooperino. No? You just want to keep playing out? Maybe I'll die to my own bit of blossom. One, two, three, four, five. This is six mana. It's like a thousand mana.
that'll do. All right, 3-0. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. It's a great way to, to, to help support the channel with like $1 or $2 a month if you don't want to spend the 5 bucks for a Twitch sub. Uh, you can also check out coolstuffinc.com. And I just had an article go up yesterday, so be sure to check that out about Warp World and Modern. And you can also check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing Magic Online subscription service and a paper card subscription service. All the links and promo codes you're going to need are in the description below, so be sure to check that out. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.